recap. So uh, right now we're going to move into the NFL draft, particularly the Redskins and all things to set. Rick, let's get us going. Okay. Uh, the, as you know, with the what, fourth pick. Fourth pick. Watch the Redskins select the Trent Wins. Silverback Wins. Okay. Now, Silverback. Why Trent Wins? And, you know, why not Ocon? I think we went with Trent Williams because um, I read a story where the coaches from Oklahoma uh, talked to Mike Shanahan and everything, and they incorporated some of their zone blocking scheme into Oklahoma. You know, into Oklahoma. Oklahoma yeah, they did run a lot of So, so I think that the reason I think that because they did that, right. that they're probably looking at like, all right, this guy maybe a little bit ahead. And I don't know, maybe I mean maybe Trent Williams is a bit is a bit more agile, a bit more fast than Ocon is. You know, Ocon looked like big. Yeah, just yeah, stay low. I'm just, I'm just run you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Whereas Trent Williams, you know, they, 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 they agile guy. Yeah. And I mean, one thing that was um, on film, what I seen, all you have to do is watch, you know, Sam Bradford's highlight. I just whatever. stood there, and, <laughs> and you <laughs> saw nothing in Sam Bradford's face. Nobody Other than when heard. he rolled out of pocket, <laughs> he got in trouble. Right. But for the most part, on that left side, mm, Trent Williams, he, he had it locked down. Over. Well, Trent, I think he's a better pass protector than Okung is. True, true, true. You know what I mean? And he, and he had that one mistake. You know what I mean? When the guy just blew past him and just murdered Sam Bradford. But you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that so, wasn't so, Trent Williams. It wasn't Trent. Nah, I thought that, was that came from that. the right side. I think it um, came from the opposite side. Well, then it wasn't Trent Williams. He got Sam Bradford killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> second thing is. They say Trent Williams played right tackle at Oklahoma for majority of his career yep. until last year. Yep. Uh, he played left tackle. Do you think he would be able to transition as soon as possible to a left tackle position well, with the Skins? It's not my decision to make, but in all honesty, I think he can. I mean, I I think he can. I drafted you this high. If you tell me you can do a certain thing, if these coaches already worked this guy out, these coaches have looked at all this tape, then if they plan to put him at left, then he better be able to play left. That's just the way I look at it. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. better be able to play left, yeah. and I believe he will be able to play left. The guy looks like, I mean, he, he's strong, he's quick. I, like the tapes I saw, you see him shoving guys away, and that's something that you need in this league. And with us losing Chris Samuels, we had right, big, right, fast, right. agile, strong guys, so I and, think he could do and it. And with you saying that, a lot of people wonder last year why we didn't take Michael Orr. Michael Orr would have came in as a right tackle. Uh, if we would have, you know, drafted him. Because Samuels was healthy. Right. He was projecting, you know, Samuels played four games out of the season. Mm -hmm. But with Orr, he, you don't draft right tackles that high. Not with the 13th pick. Now, we know what Rock Poe worked out. Unless you got left out of the QB. Then you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But for the most part, yeah. no. Not with pick 12. You don't. Or 13. Was it 12 or 13? We uh, don't know. 13. It was, it was 13. It was yeah, 13. but either or, still, um, you just don't draft right tackles that high. Now, now I, eventually, Michael Orr will move over to the left side of Baltimore. Mm -hmm. But from right now, I believe he's playing on the right side. I think Jerry Gate could run us on the left. Yeah. So, I mean, Baltimore, it worked out for Baltimore. But we, we're not in a position to do that. Now, with that said, if Chip, Chip, if Chip Williams doesn't transition to the left, then he will probably go down as a plus. I'm sorry. you just I don't care how good he is on the right side. Right. If he does not transition to that left side, yeah, you can't you can't drive him up on him. Yeah, team. but at the same time, left I mean, is too important. all right, at the same time, if, if I drafted you and if the coaches feel like, all right, let me move you to the right because you really can't play left. But my left side is okay. My left side is okay. And I move you over to the right. It's not so much he's a bust. I mean, if he has a good career on the right side, oh, then cool. Because, you know what I mean? Because we had John maybe. Jackson. You know, we had John Jackson yeah, on the right. Yeah. And he held that right side down. Now, if we can, if we put you to the right and I can't run right, then yeah, you're a bust. <laughs> and I'll put you to the right and all of a sudden, everybody rushes on the right side. Oh, yeah, you're a bust. But if I put you on that right side and you holding it down over there, oh, no, you're good. You know what I mean? You may, you may not be the best left tackle drafted, but I mean... In all honesty, have we drafted all the best linemen in the world? Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. But, yeah. we'll get there. Now, <laughs> uh, with the fourth pick, because we didn't have a second or a third, you know, the second went to, right. like, you know, for McNabb. Second, yeah, second was McNabb. Third, was third was Jerry John. John. Okay. Which, which actually was a pretty yeah, good pickup. Works out. But, um, hopefully. Hopefully. He hasn't yeah, done yeah, 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 yeah. He's but hurt. Curry Riley was the full <laughs> round pick. Linebacker from LSU. What do you think uh, that says about Rocky McIntosh? I don't really think it says that much because I saw a report where Shanahan said that uh, Rocky McIntosh, along with Alex Hanser, were not shocked. They were not shocked. So. Of course they were. Now, I'm not sure if I can believe that because I believe that. I believe uh, Rocky McIntosh was shocked. But, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if it does so much for him, but 
from what I understand, Perry Riley is more suited to be an inside linebacker. And a inside? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I'm saying, he's supposed to be inside, which I thought they were going to move Rocky to the inside. I thought they were going to move him to the inside. Because you have Andre Carter. What do you do with Andre Carter? I think, honestly, I think Andre Carter's an odd man out. I, I, I really think he's an odd man so out. So Andre Carter doesn't make the team this year? I think, I think he's going to get shot. I think he's going to get shipped out. I mean, I really do. I like Andre Carter and everything because I think if we go down to a base 4-3, you know, from time to time, we use a 4-3 in it. I think he'd be good to put there on that line because he definitely took advantage of having Hainsworth on that line with him this year. Right. He definitely did. I mean, of all, of all the people on this team, even Brian Arapo, uh, 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 Andre Carter really benefited the most because he took advantage of a lot of those, you know, like a lot of those cover sacks and all that stuff. Right, right. Now, with the next pick they drafted in round six, Dennis Morris. <laughs> From the Louisiana that the tight end. No, that's the tight end. That's the tight end. Oh, that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, guy yeah, yeah. that I was told to YouTube that I haven't yet, but they they say he's just blowing people up on the YouTube or whatever. So. Well, hey, I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, I mean what's instantly he, he becomes the what they just say he becomes, he becomes, he becomes the that we best blocking tight end that we have on the team, well, and maybe even fullback. They say he's a better blocker than even perhaps Mike Sellers. Well, you know what? I like I like Mike Sellers. I like I mean I like Mike Sellers. I mean he's, he's He's a big burly dude. He's been here for a long time. They had, they had, you know, way, way back in the old Turner times. You know what I mean? He was here. So actually, if I look at like some true red skins out there, where a lot of guys like to use that term, I, I really might look at Mike Sellers as a true red skin. You know what I mean? The guy was here. He left, went to the CFL for a little while, came back, got himself together. Right. And I mean, he he's been he has been a stud. There's been a stud fullback we've had. He has he's, been a he's stud for us. Far one of the best I've seen. But you know, what I mean, eventually he's gonna go. Eventually he's gonna retire. He's old, yeah. And yeah. even if it's not so much taking his spot, just coming and giving him a break, or just coming in with like a two tight end package where you want, you know, where you want to come in with, where you want to come in with a yeah, 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 right. You know, right. You know, you got that goal line time. Yeah. You bring, bring the big dude in. Oh, Joe Gibbs. Bring the big dude in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, because yeah, yeah. you, you got you got to win the trench. All right. Next pick was. Probably the worst pick out of everyone. That's this dude who runs like a 4 nothing. Go flat. Terrence Austin, wide receiver from UCLA. What was he drafted? Seventh round. Thanks. Five, like, five nine wide receiver drafted seventh round. You just... You're taking a shot in the dark. Yeah, that's true. You take, I mean, you're taking a shot in the dark. Granted, I will hope but it works out. But if you fight nine, nine, you better be fast. you fight nine, like you better be fast yeah. as lightning. You better be fast as a Santa <laughs> Mole. I mean, for real. Because, I mean, but then again, I don't know. It may work, but it looks like our wide receiver core is pretty much stacked. So, you know what I mean? If it's between him or Thaddeus, then you know who I want. <laughs> you know what? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. And. Oh, okay. Now, the <coughs> next pick was Eric Cook, who's the center, and they finished it with Salvis Capers. I don't know if it was in that particular order, but I know yeah. they ended with two linemen. Well, you know, Salvis Capers, I saw him play with West Virginia a couple mm -hmm. times. They run a lot of his own blockers, so I think that's where he yeah. fits in at because. That, of course, you know that's what we do now. Yeah. You know, but, yeah, it's well, going to be mostly zone running with us. Well, I mean, also, you know, a lot of those late round guys, you know, you, you looking at depth. You know, yeah. you really looking at young guys yeah. to build yeah. up. All right, y'all, that's that segment there. We're going to get right back to you in our next set. We're going to continue with our NFL talk and everything, y'all. Thanks for coming back to us. Well, I was going to pull out now. Oh. I thought we <laughs> <don't know what laughs> <it was. laughs> I know you have a little bit much. Yeah, yeah, I, I could let that one. Hell, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be no, the man who makes a mix. Video is yeah, white. I know I will. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. I'm gonna be the man who makes a mix. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be, 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 I'm gon